Zurich. See right there, that's their uh, Swiss Museum. I'll be visiting that at some point today. Right ahead is the train station, which is under a little renovation. And you get a nice little view. Headed towards their Bahnhofstrasse, so shopping street. As for the rules of the road, uh, walk with the locals. When they cross, you cross. <laughs> There's enough people walking around that I don't think jaywalking is really a thing that they enforce anything remotely around here. But since the traffic flow is different with the uh, trolleys and the cars, best to wait for a local to, to start crossing the street before you, you yourself start doing it. Right up here train station. This is their big shopping street. Obviously it's early in the morning, so pipes. Ugh. So, oh, an espresso bar. Okay. okay, so we'll walk down this. See if there's anything worth... Hmm, okay, I'll have to look at some of this stuff. Uh, well, Just more of Zurich, just wandering around. No real rhyme or reason which way I'm headed. Just going to explore. Ah, oh, the film festival. Yeah, uh, Zurich's having a, their film festival in the next few days. This is advertisement for it, obviously. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. It's the flags that actually drew me in this direction. Cossier Tea Room. Okay. Starbucks is... Okay, Starbucks is open. I was going to say, Starbucks not open? Like, it's past nine. I can under understand some areas. What are they in the Apple Store? You're in line for the Apple Store. That makes no sense. What did 14 come out? Starlight and black. There's a line. Still Zurich, you got a cheese. They actually show barbecue sauce there, flowers. Basically a market. So, maybe I'll find a souvenir. Maybe. Olives. Oh, it's like a yeah, it's, a, it's like farmers. Oh, it's, yeah, I guess where I come from, we call this a public market. Maybe it is their version, you know, a public market. I don't know. I see all the normal staples of stuff. Fruits, vegetables. <laughs> What's that guy selling? Selling nuts. He's selling nuts. Not a bad thing to sell. Artichokes. Uh, I need shrink wrapped. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. That must be it. Food say oh whatever. Okay. Right here on the lake. Nice little market here. Here's where I am. It's Zurich. Back there, way back there, is a train station. This is more of a local area. Not a lot of the touristy stuff. So, not as many tourists. The restaurants and the stores are more, I guess you'd say normal. You don't see the touristy stores uh, who are just selling like trinkets or whatnot. You, you, you see the regular stuff. You know, we're selling sneakers, we're selling bicycles, we're selling backpacks, we're selling, selling clothing. So, I always like to come out here, uh, come out to the normal area where you're away from the tourists, away from all that stuff. See how things go. I have noticed as you leave the touristy area, you start to see more police. I don't know if that's because... I don't know if that's just kind of a fluke of what I'm doing it, because this is just one anecdotal point. Or is it because... Do they keep the police out of the touristy area for the most part so that people don't see them? They keep them just outside so they can flood in at, the, at a moment's notice if needed? Could be. Makes sense. You don't want people to be seeing... Uh, you don't want people to be seeing the police. You know, just keep them just out of sight and then... Hey, they're only like two or three blocks away and they're there <laughs> in case they're needed. I haven't seen any uh, need for police. Seen, seen a number of ambulances <laughs> going through the touristy sections, but you know, no one, no one gets upset. No, no, one, no one says anything when you know, an ambulance is going by because someone obviously needs it. Then the police, police might raise eyebrows. They're like, what, why are they doing that? I'll cross there. Yesterday it was a farmer's market. Today it's a, well, items market. So, maybe there's something here. Ooh.
Ha <laughs> ha. 